Welcome to my video about my summer empties. I am so excited to show you these products. I did a spring empties and so it's been about three months so I have quite a few empties to share with you. And if you're not a subscriber, I hope you'll consider clicking that bell and subscribing. And if you'd like to give this video a thumbs up, I would appreciate that too. Okay, my first empty is actually a little package from Bed Bath & Beyond and I just used this about a week ago. And I used this to create my new bed linen set and I'll show you a picture of that there. And I have never really liked using duvets before because it seemed like the little down insert would always get mangled up on the inside and I couldn't keep it straight. Well, when I was at Bed Bath & Beyond buying that duvet, I saw these hold down duvet donuts and they were absolutely wonderful. I used them when I created my duvet this past weekend. Basically, you turn the duvet cover inside out and put the duvet insert on top of it and then you put these little four donuts, one on each corner, and then when you flip the duvet out to its right side, the insert always stays perfect and it doesn't get bunched up. Now my next product was a fail and I ordered it from Amazon. The reviews were fairly good, but I'd always heard of using a tooth whitening gel with a little lighting system. And this is a Deluxe Home Aura Glow system. And here is the little Aura Glow tray. And I think this was about $35, so it wasn't that out of line, but I think it was $35 wasted. You basically put the gel in the tray and they do supply the gel with the tray. And then you click the button and you turn on this little blue light. I don't know if you can see that, and I think this little blue light is supposed to seriously whiten your teeth, but I found that the little blue light in this whole kit just seriously wasted my money. Now my next items are skincare items. The first empty is this little tube of 0.05 Tretinoin, and this is probably my seventh, eighth, ninth tube, somewhere in there. I've been using Retin-A for two years, absolutely love it. I was just in my esthetician's office the other day though, and she gave me an idea that I didn't have in terms of the Tretinoin. She says that in the summer, when she's out in the sun more, she reduces from the 0.05 strength that she uses in the winter to the 0.025 strength, which is a lesser strength, and she feels it works better in the summer. And I think I may be trying that idea because sometimes on the 0.05, my skin still does get irritated even after two years on Retin-A. And I'm personally beginning to believe that it's not the strength that you use so much, it's the consistency. And so I may be trying out the idea of using some 0.025% too. Now my next skincare empty is this little bottle of Thayer's Witch Hazel and it's the aloe vera formula and it says since 1847. This is a very old type of skin toner. Here it is. And in this bottle is just 100% pure witch hazel. And quite honestly, I was about two weeks without this and I felt like my skin wasn't getting as clean. I feel like using this toner as the last step after your cleansing just really cleans off those last remnants of makeup. I also think that using witch hazel slightly tightens up your pores and gives your skin a more fine look. And this is a fabulous brand and I will repurchase this brand in the future, but I have to admit I was at Walmart and I didn't see this brand. So I bought another brand of 100% witch hazel. It absolutely helps your skin glow. Now my next two empties are masks and this is a sheet mask from number seven. It's the Protect and Perfect Intense Mask. It says Serum Boost Sheet Mask. I think this is supposed to be a moisturizing mask but I really didn't notice anything particularly special from using this mask. So I won't be repurchasing this but this mask is fabulous and in fact I just did a video on it this morning called Fab Finds and I used this mask this morning and I really think this mask makes a tremendous difference. It contains alpha hydroxy acids so it's a great skin exfoliator and I really think it makes your pores look smaller and your brown spots kind of fade away. This is a fabulous mask and if you haven't subscribed and would love to see that video, click the bell below. But I will be repurchasing this mask because I really think it makes a tremendous difference in my skin. Now my next two empties are hair care and neither of these I will be repurchasing again because I don't know if you saw my video recently, but I did a video about how to have thicker looking hair and I have discovered the Kenra Volume Shampoo and Conditioner and I love those so much. After two years of being on YouTube and trying lots of different products, including these two, I'm going to stick with those Kenra Volumizing products. This is the Mark Anthony Instantly Thick Volume Conditioner and I thought this was pretty good actually, but I like the Kenra volumizing products better. And this was an interesting product. This is the L'Oreal Eversleek Sulfate Free Keratin Caring Shampoo. And I did kind of like this. And if you have super dry hair and you're not that interested in volume, this is a good shampoo for that. In fact, this whole line of products, and they have a shampoo and a conditioner, and I believe a hair mask, 
They are very oil intensive. And in fact, if you slip in the shower, then don't get these because it's kind of like pouring salad oil all over your hair. It almost feels like your entire hair care line is just filled with oils. You wash your hair and condition your hair with these products. And as it's being rinsed out, you can feel the oil just running down your body. But if you really have dry hair, this could be a good option for you. But I really need the thickness, so I'm sticking with the Kenra volumizing products. Now, this is one of my HRT empties, and I did get this idea from Barbara Hoffman's channel. And for those of you who are not familiar with Barbara Hoffman, she is an expert on HRT, or at least she says she is, but she studied it for many, many years. This is the little progesterone cream that I use twice a day, and I use just a quarter teaspoon of this, and I rub it on the inside of my arms there. However, I just had a viewer tell me yesterday in the comments that she uses her HRT creams as facial moisturizers, which I think is probably a really good idea because they are proven to thicken skin. However, maybe you would want to use these on your neck because the neck is one area with thinner skin and these are able to penetrate perhaps better than on your face. This progesterone cream has been wonderful for reducing my hot flashes, which I still get them at well over 50 plus. And I will say that I saw these cream-like products on Barbara Hoffman's channel, but then I got them in from Amazon and I took them in for my OBGYN visit for that year. And he was very familiar with both the progesterone and the estrogen creams. And he said using them would be just fine. Now in a moment, I'll be getting to a few makeup empties, but right now I have a brow empty and an eyelash empty. And this is the Rapid Brow, and it is what I have used over about three months to grow new tails on my eyebrows. And I don't know if you can see this, and I do have some brow gel on there, but I used to have very skimpy, kind of 90s overplucked brows. And over the last four months of using this product, my brows have grown in much more thick, and I now have tails. This is a fabulous product, and again, I'll link that video below. And this is something that I used to use quite a while ago, loved it, and this is a generic Latisse is what this is. And this is called CarePost, and I won't put it up to the camera because it's too small for you to see. But this is basically generic Latisse, and this has been scientifically proven to grow eyelashes. And I used to use this several years ago, and I noticed that it stopped being as effective for me, and sometimes that happens. So I started using some other lash growth products, and they were very good. But recently, I've decided to go back to using this. It's like $14 for this little vial, and it lasts over a month. And I decided to go back to this because I have a friend who uses it, and her lashes are fabulous. So I'll be doing a test for the next few months and seeing how my lashes grow. Now my last four empties are makeup products. The first is this Milani eyeshadow primer, and you'd have to be under a rock to have not heard of this. This is an absolutely fabulous eyeshadow primer. In fact, I have it on this morning. You just use a little tiny bit, you squeeze it out on your fingers and apply it, or you can apply it with a brush. It has a little bit of a tan look. It looks a little bit like foundation. So it does even out the color on your eyelids, but more importantly, it helps your eyeshadow wear all day long. And here is another primer, and this one is for your face. And I have large pores in my T-zone because I still have oily skin at way over 50 plus. And this is the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer Pore Minimizing. And they have about five different formulas of this, but I've always used the pore minimizing because I do have such a problem with my pores. And I have gone through a full range of primers, and I have to admit that over the last few months I've been very busy and I'd stopped using foundation primers altogether. But recently I did a video in which I included this and so I started using it again and I remembered why I liked it so much. And so for the last week or two, I've been using this every day. And while nothing totally nulls out your pores altogether, this product certainly helps. Now my last two empties are a mascara and a lipstick. And this mascara is the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. And I have this on this morning. However, I do admit that this is getting a little bit dry and I'm about to repurchase yet another tube. This mascara gives you long, full, thick eyelashes and it doesn't tend to clump and it never flakes off as some mascaras do. This is a fabulous mascara if you want long, kind of glamorous looking lashes and you want them to last all day. Now, this last lipstick is a love and a hate. No, actually, it's a super love. And as you can see, it is now a super loved empty. And this is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk lipstick. And I have it on right now. In fact, I'll add a little more. I absolutely love this lipstick. And this is probably the fifth or sixth tube I've had of this. This lipstick is $32. And so that's why I have a little bit of hate for it. But it is so beautiful and it is such a universal nude lip color that I go ahead and pay the price. And as a lip liner, I've also used the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Liner. 
so everything blends very well together. And although this is the matte revolution formula, it is a little bit matte, but it feels very moisturizing on your lips. And again, this is a very universal color that I think most skin tones could wear. I really don't like those super whitish nudes where you look like you're wearing chalk on your lips. Those don't look good. This is truly a your lips but better color. And I just placed a big order from Sephora because Charlotte Tilbury has a whole line of new lipsticks and great new colors. And I'll be doing a video about that soon. Can't wait to try on all the new Charlotte Tilbury colors. Well, that was a look at my summer empties, some of the products I have loved and hated for the past three or four months. And I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day. And these are the Miracles Now cards from Gabriel Bernstein. She is a wonderful kind of a positive thinking, motivational type speaker. Okay, let's choose a card. Ooh, the moment I begin to celebrate myself and focus on my successes is the moment I begin living. The moment I begin to celebrate my success and focus on my successes is the moment I begin living. Oh my, this is a fabulous card and it speaks to something that my sister and I were talking about just yesterday. And we were talking about the fact that as we get older and we're all getting older and I'm well over 50, that life is short and we've got to stop focusing on the things that we don't have in life. We've got to accept what God gives us, the blessings that we have in our lives, and we've really got to start celebrating them. Let's forget about the five or 10% lack that we have or maybe the 30% lack that we have in certain areas. Let's concentrate on what we do have. Let's celebrate ourselves and all the gifts we've been given, whatever those are. Let's not look at our poochy tummies as I was doing this morning. Instead, let's focus on the fact that we're healthy and strong. Let's focus on our successes because when we focus on our successes, that's the moment we truly begin living. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.